Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite, and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now for this you will need a cable that is plugged into your computer, and uh, that's about all we need. Now, one more thing to mention is this process should be able to remove screen locks. I don't actually have one set, but I'm gonna go through it as though I would have one. So anyway, I'm just gonna kind of lock the device. Now for me, I, I would be able just to normally turn it off, but if you have a screen lock that you don't know, you can't. So uh, you can't normally turn it off. So what you want to do is hold power key and volume down till the screen uh, or till the device turns off. So you do want to interact with the device uh, screen just so it doesn't time out like it is doing now. Come on, like this. Uh, so keep interacting with it so it doesn't time out but the device actually turns off. Once the device turns off, it well, kind of looks the same way. So that's why I want you to interact with the display. Now, uh, let's plug it in right away. And uh, once it turns off, once you, when you're holding power key and volume down, once it turns off, you want to switch the volume up instead. So I'm going to do that right now. Just light it up. So power key, volume down. As you can see, it brings up a boot option. That doesn't really matter. If you have a screen lock, it won't actually work. Turned off, power key, volume up. You will see Samsung logo on a screen. There we go. And then Galaxy. At which point you can let go of the two keys. From here, using volume keys, you want to select wipe data factory reset, confirm it with power key, and select factory data reset. Formatting data, and then you should see data wipe complete, at which point reboot system now will be selected by default, so press power key once more and this will reboot the device and continue the process in the background. So it will take the device uh, significantly longer to boot back up uh, because like I said, it's still resetting the device in the background, but once it's finished, we will be presented with setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible. So as you see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.